So this is my second battery pack I'm building for my 2019 series sleeker. And there's gonna be two main improvements over the previous one. Uh, I'm also gonna give a quick review on what happened uh, with my VMS, the charger. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So the, fir the very first thing and foremost, the biggest improvement that I made for this battery pack is I found 21700 nickel stripe 2S already made. And the thing that I didn't know from my previous pack is that these guys were already uh, like that, you know, available because you can find them for 18650 configurations, but for 21700 cells, there's not that many out there yet. So this guy, the way that I had it before, it not only added a lot of uh, cutting and spot welding, but it also made it um, not a very good job while while actually welding into the into the module. So going this way now, um, I can actually do a lot of testing prior to to do to mount it into the motorcycle and be able to see if it's fully welded correctly and avoid the same mistakes that I made the first time. So, so far with these two modules, three modules so far that I've made, it, it's just amazing. So um, it's gonna be a four kilowatt hour pack. And talking about this guy, I'm not happy at all. I had a defective BMS that long story short, it depleted my pack all the way, uh, all the way from 95% SOC to zero, right? And after contacting the, the guy from technical support, he told me that my, my settings were configured incorrectly. And he told me how to get him, how to set him correctly, which I had him correctly. But anyway, so uh, I had to ship it back. They shipped me back another one. Long story short, the new, the new BMS did the exact same thing. And it was very difficult to get these uh, BMS working correctly. So why uh, I ended up doing a separate test once I had the battery removed, it was that the, uh, the current draw, when you are in idle mode or in sleep mode, for this BMS, really it, it, it draws close to 700 uh, milliamps. So it's, it's almost one amp. So no wonder why it was depleting my battery pack. So that thing, it's, it's, it's useless for, for, for me. And also, if you look at the, the current shunt that comes with it, it is so massive. It looks like from the 19th century, right? So I had to use a heavy-duty uh, hitch ring tubing to fully isolate it. And uh, if you look, at, you know, in, a, in addition to that, uh, this is the display, the communication display and settings display. Uh, and it talks to, to the BMS via these... Uh, telephone cord from the 80s it reminds me when i was a kid and that was a long time ago and look at that you know i, I feel like i call my mom right now through through this thing and but anyway so i'm not going to use that charger bms for my new module for my new pack i'm in um i'm gonna i'm gonna keep doing some uh, research i'm also working on developing my own bms but that's going to take a while before it's it's get you know before i get it done and I'm not patient, so I need to get this, this battery pack finished. I also had to uh, design and, and, and do new uh, holders for the cells so I can adjust them in a way that can fit with the new strips in, in, and also fit them inside the battery pack. So this is going to be a much, much better battery pack from the first one. But, you know, that's part of development and uh, engineering. So uh, I'm glad the, the old pack is out. So I can get rid of the charger BMS, improve my spot weldings, and and I'm pretty confident this is this is going to be the one that is going to stay in the bike for for many years to come. So well, 